Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed these many congruence criteria, it is time for a special type of congruence criteria called RHS congruence criteria. Now this is a special congruence criteria that holds true only for right angled triangles. So RHS stands for right hypotenuse side. So let us see how do we make use of this RHS criteria for right angled triangles. So as per this criteria, if you have two right angled triangles, so let me take just one right angled triangle to first clarify which side is called what. So let us say this is a right angled triangle ABC which is right angled at B. Perfect. Now the side exactly opposite to the right angle is nothing but the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse which is supposedly the longest side of this triangle. Perfect. And these are the other two sides. Right. Now whenever we compare two triangles, two right angle triangles for congruence, we just see we anyways know that we have 190 degree in both the triangles. That means one angle is equal in both the triangles. So the right part is done. Next is hypotenuse. Then we match the hypotenuse. If the hypotenuse of this triangle is equal to the hypotenuse of the other triangle. And then we check another side. Any of these sides, either AB or BC. One of these sides should be equal to one of the sides of the other right angle triangle. So if these criteria, three criteria are fulfilled, then we say that the two right angle triangles are congruent by RHS criteria. So it says that if hypotenuse and one side of a right angle triangle are respectively equal to the hypotenuse and one side of another right angle triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Now let us look at this example where we may have triangle PQR which is right angled at Q and we have triangle DEF which is right angled at E. So in this case, we anyways have one right angle in both of them. That is why they are right angle triangles. We have to compare the hypotenuse. Here the hypotenuse is PR and here the hypotenuse is df and we see that pr is equal to df which is equal to 6 cm so hypotenuse is equal so right and hypotenuse is done now we have to compare one side now here you see that one side is pq and this pq is not equal to the corresponding side which is de so that means uh, the other side is not equal. Now since this side is not equal to this side, that itself means that this side will also not be equal to this side. And therefore triangle PQR is not congruent to triangle DEF. So in this case, these two right angle triangles are not congruent. So basically the simple thing that you need to remember is that for two triangles, for two right angle triangles to be con uh, to be congruent, their hypotenuse should be equal and one of their sides should be equal. So let us look at this one. If this right angle triangle is congruent or not. So here one right angle triangle is triangle ABC and the other right angle triangle is triangle ABD. So let us see. Here we have one one right angles which is the hypotenuse for triangle ABC. So the side opposite to 90 degree that is AB. And which is the hypotenuse for triangle ABD the side opposite to 90 degree which is again AB. So AB is equal to AB which is a common side and this is also the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is equal. Now we have to see if one more side is equal or not. So one more side of triangle ABC would be AC and one more side of triangle ABD would be BD and AC is equal to BD as per this diagram. Both of them are 2 centimeters. So we see that one hypotenuse and one side is equal. Therefore we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle B A D and how by RHS congruence by RHS criteria. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.